rational numbers, I am just going to write it as R n, which is generally written as p by q, where both p and q are integers. Q is not equal to 0, you should not have the denominator as 0, because that makes it undefined. And then they should be co prime, p and q should be co prime, they should not be any common factor other than 1, then that makes it a rational number. In this format, all the natural numbers say 1, 2, 3 and so on, everything can be written in this format, is not it. So, you 2 can be written as 2 by 1, 3 can be written as 3 by 1 and so on. For that matter, whole number, what is whole number? A natural number plus 0 added to that also. So, 0 is also a rational number. Then you have all integers, so both negative and positive numbers. You also have all decimals and fractions. Fractions and decimals are the same thing, you know. Fraction can be written in decimal form, decimal can be written in fraction form. So, fraction and decimal can be put under one, uh, you know, group. So, all these numbers, fractions and then you have decimals, decimal numbers, all these groups together are known as rational numbers, because they all can be, think of any fraction, think of any decimal or whole number or national number, you can immediately write like this, is not it, p by q form. One more thing we saw that if the number is written in the form of a decimal, then you have two types. Suppose you have a number say 1 by 4, this is a fraction, I write it as 0 0.25. Now, what type of decimal is this? This is terminating, that is it terminates after that, there is no number after this. Because when you divide 1 by 4, after some time you get a 0 as reminder. So, the moment you get a 0 as reminder, you stop the division, is not it? So, you get what is known as a terminating. Similarly, there was another 1, 1 by 3, which you did last time. We got the answer as something like this and so on, which we finally wrote it as 3 bar. What does this mean? That there is a repetition of the digit post the decimal a single digit is here. In this case, the single digit is constantly repeated and we can write it like this. So, both this and this that is after decimal either it is terminating or it is non terminating that is it is not going to terminate, but it is recurring or repeating. There is a pattern, there is a repetition pattern. Both these number 1 by 4, 1 by 3 written in the decimal form give this you know format for us. They both come under rational numbers. Now, all the rational numbers, we also saw that all the rational numbers can be put on the number line. We can put where 1 by 4 is, we can also put 1 by 3 on the number line. Apart from these rational numbers, the number line also has some numbers which are known as irrational numbers. Look at this number root 2. Okay. We have generally taken that as 1.4, that is what we always take. I mean, we do not think much. You know why? Because it goes on and on actually and not with a pattern. Unfortunately, this 1.4145, I do not know, I do not even remember to tell you very frankly. It can go on and on and on. The computers have even found up to millions of places. There are competitions held where a person has to memorize and tell all these numbers in an order as much as possible. The one who is able to tell most digits, you know, in that order is awarded a prize. Okay. So, it goes on and on and on and there is no pattern for it. Here there is a pattern, is not it? 3 is repeated. There are also numbers like where you have 2.121212 and so that which can be written as 2.12 bar. Here also there is a repetition, two, 2 digits are repeated. Sometimes 3 can be repeated, sometimes 4 can be, even 10 can be repeated. But in this case when it was studied by computers, Initially, they thought sometimes it will start repeating. See, when you do manually, you do not go about doing for such a long time that you wait for a repetition. But when computers took over and they tried to find the value of root 2, they found even after millions of digits, there is no repetition of any pattern. There is no pattern. It is so haphazard. It just goes on. You know, whatever number you think something, those numbers will come. You can think of any of the numbers and it will keep on coming without any pattern. So, root 2 is like that. This is an irrational number. You have root 3, 1.73, I think 2 perhaps, I do not even remember again. It goes on for exams or, or for all practical purpose, we stop here. We do not want to include all those things. So, this is another irrational number. These numbers in decimal form cannot be written as p by q. They cannot be written, hence they are called irrational number. Our most famous number pi 
which we always take it as 3.14 or 22 by 7 taken in this form or this form makes it rational 22 by 7 is rational 3.14 is also rational this is what we take it but this is not the value of pi pi goes I do not know again 3.1415 something like that ok it just goes I know again the computers have tried to find you know millions of places of you know uh, the value of pi and they have found that there is no pattern there is no repetition of any of the digits in a very particular pattern 10 getting repeated 15 even 100 getting repeated no it just is very very haphazard ok. So, these numbers pi root 2 root 3 they are all known as irrational number and in this order if I go for root 4 what happens is root 4 irrational no we know the value of root 4 it is plus or minus 2 this is rational. So, any number which does not have a perfect square root is an the square root number is an irrational number. So, you can have root 7 is irrational number you have root 8 is irrational number, but root 9 is rational because root 9 is equal to plus or minus 3. So, like that you can find so many irrational numbers. So, both irrational number and rational number together belong to a family after all they are two brothers one is rational and one is irrational. Rational we have learnt, irrational we are going to learn, but together they belong to a family of real numbers because they really exist on the number line. We found all these rational numbers on the number line last time. Now, we learn how to find this irrational number also on the same number line they also exist. So, together rational and irrational, irrational and rational both of them exist on the number line and this time we are going to learn more about the irrational number. In fact, there are numbers like this if I just have to say give a irrational number on uh, you know decimal form I can even write like this say 3.10 one double zero, one triple zero, one four zeros. Do you think this is this is not terminating? Okay, that point is okay. I understand. Do you think there is any sort of recurring thing? No. Please see that this is very very different from three point one zero one zero one zero one zero so on, or for that matter three point one double zero, one double zero, and one double zero. These two are rational numbers, but this is irrational number because there is a, even though it appears to be repeating it is not there is only one zero here there are two zeros here there are three zeros here there are four zeros. So, again it is not repeating with a pattern. So, this is irrational, but these two are rational numbers. So, these two can be written in p by q form this cannot be written in p by q form. So, we have what is known as irrational numbers we already know what are those irrational numbers in this class.